We've seen so far on it. Um, you know, so this is this is this is a trade here. You can see obviously it continued selling all the way down that. So you can see that that made 14 times your money. The stop is a hard stop that you you'll know about. So that trade there made 14 times your money. Now that's a maximum swing. It's not the this swing, but it's a maximum swing, 14 times your money. So 2% risk. That trade would have made potentially 28% return on your money. Now, the next trade was a buy trade here. And uh, you can see that it traded out at a maximum take of uh, six times your money. So that's uh, nice as well. So that's a pretty good uh, return on that trade. The next trade we had was a sell trade here. And you can see that that had a maximum take of just 1.6 times your money. What a pile of crap this is. So 1.6 times your money against the risk. This buy trade here, well, it made 1.3 times your money. Not exactly earth shattering stuff. And then this sell trade here, well, that sell trade there, that was 1.2 times your money. And then this buy trade here, well, this buy trade didn't do too shabbily. This buy trade here was uh, was pretty good. It did 4.2 times your money. Then this was the losing trade. It didn't make even money. It did not make even money, but we do have a recovery strategy for that. It's unfortunately, it is a martingale. You don't have to use it. But the basic idea is that when we get the trade that doesn't make you the money, when it comes to the stop, instead of getting stopped out for a loss of one times your money, you can always resell it for a second same size position. And the, the idea of that is that as soon as it comes back to break even here for the original position, you close it out and you make one times your money, right? So that's if you're using a recovery strategy for just the one trade, one trade only. Um, so the idea is we should never lose these because there's a reason for them. So we might get the wrong price, but we haven't got the wrong trade. Well, it turns out we did have the wrong trade eventually, because even though this one scratched out, it then did go back into a buy trade and we went straight into a buy trade here. And with this buy trade here, well, well you can see what happened. It went. 16 times your money as a maximum swing. 16 times your money as a maximum swing. And then we got a sell trade here. And this sell trade here made 14 times your money. And uh, then we got uh, we got a trade here that, you know, we looked at and obviously it's against the value. So obviously this one would have been deleted because it's against the value. None of these trades are against value. But when we come into the US session, it goes against value. And the, the idea was, we were going to look to get into a long trade here. But if you look at value at this stage, it's in the exact opposite direction. So would you take the deal? Well, of course you wouldn't. You would be looking at it saying that nah, shit, it's a crap trade. I'm not going to take it from a momentum point of view. So when you look at value there, would you would you take a buy trade in the value narrative? <laughs> I don't think so, right? So there's no way you're going to take a buy trade with that value narrative. So you're going to leave this one alone and you're just now, now the trade has to have a value narrative, right? So obviously, if you decided to lose on that one, you, you if you went for the recovery, then of course, your recovery trade has also lost you another 1%. So that, you know, that said, it's done and dusted. So that's a, a full three times loss on that trade. A full three times loss on that trade, right? So if you're doing it with a recovery, well, is it a three times loss? I'm not sure, is it? It would have to go to minus 2.0, wouldn't it? So that's exactly, uh, it touches it literally to the tick. It touches it literally to, 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 depends what price you got into the buy trade here. You know, it depends what price you got in at the buy trade at that stage right there. So if you were using it as a, a recovery strategy, at this point, you know, if, if it goes through that level, you're three times three times your money. So in other words, if you're using 1% risk, um, if you were using 1% risk, you'd be losing 3% on that trade at that point. But obviously the, the trade makes 1% or one times risk if it goes back to the uh, break even here. So if it goes back to the break even here, you make one times your money. And obviously, if you decide that this is not the way you want to trade this, you can obviously just go back to you know, a, a absolutely just a break even trade, which is about here, isn't it? So that's your break even for both positions, you know, in, into that storyline.
good rever good reversal actually on value right at the bottom edge there wasn't it very nice reversal there uh, and that's a nice nice uh, buy reversal um value line very uh it's the uh it's volatility top of the market volatilities top of the market volatility so this is a vwa vwb so that's top of the market vols and, and I, as you know i like the top of the market volatility because well it's bloody good right anyway let's get this uh, next the next uh, data out of the way 